Hello, welcome to Hornet News. I am Cheyenne. And I am Ayana. And today was Cultural Day. I was representing Jamaica. And I was representing black culture in the form of hip hop. And if you didn't know, Thursday is Throwback Day and Friday is Black and Gold Day prior to the pep rally. Also, just so you know, IDs are required for breakfast and lunch. And don't forget that dress code also is important. Also, what's new is the Penny Wars. What you have to do is bring pennies to lunch and put them in your bin for freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And don't bring any dollars or nickels or quarters into your own bin. Put them in the others so they can lose, so your class can win. And if you didn't know what's taking place November 8th, it's the Student Council Food Drive. Drive. You can contribute a non-perishable food item that now until November 8th, and the class that donates the most will get $100 on their account. Bring your food items to the activity, activities office and label the bag with the class here, and all will be donated to the East Hartford Food Pantry. And don't forget about the new library pass procedure. The teachers can log you in and give you a pass that day or day before so you can save your spot to the library after school. Your books are on sale online at the website ybpay.com. Use the school code and books are $75. If ordered online before January 1st, they will include your name stamped in gold on the cover along with the 16 page current events section. Seniors can also order a book visa senior assessments, but they will not receive a name stamp or annual section. So order early to get the best value. Also, this is a message to only seniors. If you want to join the class of 2019 yearbook, please go to Google Classroom and log in and accept the invitation to join the yearbook and get yearbook and graduation information and updates. This is the last week for Math Dry Fit Sweatshirts fundraiser. The two choices are Absolute Value Avoid negative, Negativity and Darth Vader Comes to the Dork Side, We Have Pie. See Miss J in room 142. Also, on Thursday, we have boys soccer at Fairfield Prep at 4 p.m. in the second round of the state tournament. A little reminder is that Umbrella Project LGBTQ Safe Club is after school until 3.30 in room 206. And another little reminder is there is a dance club on Monday. Hip-hop, breakdance, or freeform dance. And also, it will be located between the two main gyms, and there is no expertise needed. Just be you. Environmental Club is Wednesday after school in room 128A from 2.15 to 2.45. All are welcome to attend, and please see Ms. Sued or Ms. Sparks with any questions. And also, on Wednesday, there is also a yoga club to 2.30 to 3.15 in the middle gym. Anyone who's interested can join. And if you feel free to talk to Ms. Rodriguez in room 137. Another club is the American Sign Language Club that will meet every Wednesday from 2.15 p.m. to 3 p.m. in room 151. See Ms. Dickey in room 151 for more information. And another reminder, on Wednesday, there is also a yearbook meeting from 2.15, wait, no, it doesn't say from, okay. Also, there's a yearbook meeting on Wednesday at 2.15 in room 184. All are welcome. Another club that takes place on Wednesday is the Video Communication Club and Newspaper Club that meets every Wednesday in the TV studio, room 215A, for weekly news show. We are always looking for reporters and new anchors. See Mr. Bacon in room 138 or 215A. Also, on Thursday, there is a mock trial meeting at 2.30 and in room 103. Baseball has a mandatory baseball meeting Thursday, 3.30 in the CAF. All returning or anyone interested must attend. So, on Friday, this is a message to juniors and seniors, Community Awareness Day slips are due to the house office on Friday, November 9th. If you want to join, it's devoted to service learning just for extra information for you to know.
Don't forget that the school must receive an opt-out form or a permission slip from every student or students who do not return a form will not be allowed to go to junior or senior prom. Extra permission slips and opt-out forms are available in House 11 and 12. And also, on Friday, we have the pep rally. Yay! So, the pep rally starts at 1 and ends at 2. See you there. Homecoming weekend. Friday, 6 p.m. is senior night for football, drill, band, and cheerleading. 6.30 p.m. is football versus Newington. And Saturday is, seven, is the homecoming dance, which is 7 p.m. And also, if you need help with your hair and makeup for homecoming, you can come on November 10th to room 123 from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. It's $10 for each service. And if you want to know more information, please see Ms. Martinez in House 11. Don't forget a great service learning opportunity is the Silver Lane Bowling Alley, which they need volunteers each week, every Friday from 4 to 6 o'clock. And don't forget to bring your friends. It's a really good opportunity to get service learning hours. Oh, and November 27th, Tuesday, just so you know, there is sports night at 6 p.m. So um, December 12th is winter sports. If you're playing a sport, you need to hand in your paperwork as soon as possible. No papers are accepted after December 12th. That's very important to note. And no gold car, no play. And this is another fun service learning. No. This is another fun way to earn your service learning hours. It is childcare at O'Brien School. If you want to learn more about it, please go see Miss Bryan in room 138 to sign up. And each session is 1.5 hours from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Another note on service learning is just many opportunities and don't wait until senior year. Start from early, start now, and just get your 10 hours or more and just, yeah, there's many opportunities and find out in your Connections class. And also, there is an Assist the Elderly service learning hour. No. no. And also, another way to earn your service hours is assisting the elderly at the hearth of Glastonbury. Mrs. Messenger in Guidance is looking for people that are interested in volunteering and I'm volunteering to do it. I'm, I think it's going to be fun and a fun way to earn my hours. On another note, Iron Ornit Crew is another service learning hour. Isn't that great? See Miss Marinko in room 213 for information and permission slips to a possible field trip. And also, I know we've been explaining a lot of service learning hours. Nope. Also, I know that we've been saying a lot of stuff to earn your hours, but here's another way. Mr. Bacon is looking for students to film sports. And if you want to, please go see him in 215A or 138. And don't forget that if you want to start a club, it's not too late. You just need 10 members and an East Hartford High School adult advisor. And see Ms. Bernard in, athletic, in the athletic office if you want to start a club. Okay, start over. And the following week, we have Monday off because Veterans Day, and that is so great because no one really likes school. Yep. But, those <laughs> but those following days, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, known as NIAS, visiting us to certify us. And the following week, we have on Monday two meetings, the EHHS Family Engagement Meeting from 6 to 7 in the library and the EHHS PTO Meeting at 7 in the library. And on Wednesday, it's half day because of Thanksgiving break. We have the Community Awareness Day, which I already said is for juniors and seniors, to, which is devoted to service learning. And for the 21st and the 22nd, which is just the break. And just a, a very important reminder, on the 23rd is Black Friday, and that's my birthday. And I would love a happy birthday, a card, or a gift. Happy birthday. <laughs> but don't forget that in order to attend to all these fun events that are happening, you have to come to school. And that's why one of our goals is to have 95% or higher daily attendance. And it's really important. Um, attendance matters. It's your academic. It's everything. So come to school. 
And just remember, it's not just attendance, it's also behavior. We don't want no ISS or OSS or explosion or expelled students because school is important. Just remember, all these activities require good grades and good attendance. And behavior. So, like, say you get an ISS, you might not be able to go to homecoming or prom or whatever it is. And you don't want that because you're going to see all your friends going and you're at home. So, <laughs> but come you, to school, behave and do good and or do well. And there's always after school opportunities to just talk to your teacher, stay after school and they give out bus passes on certain days and just use your school opportunities. Yeah. And also, I just want to say, when you're in the CAF, please admire the window painting from all the student councils of each class. They work very hard, very hard. And I know I was a part of it, and I worked really hard on it. And I just want you guys to say thank you to all the students that were doing it and all the teachers that were in there and I had a really fun time and also just so you know and for freshman student council we're looking for new people to join and new members thank you and if there is rain then the decision the decision of having the pep rally will be decided prior to eight o'clock a.m. Is that, is that it? Do so you have any more stuff to say? Like I'm like thinking of anything else. Oh, we, we can talk wanna. about the spirit week. Talk about spirit week. Okay. I think spirit week was a really fun idea. I mean, I participated in lazy day, but I noticed that like some people just don't use the day to their advantage. It's like a day to now wear uniform, just do it. Just so you know, tomorrow is throwback Thursday or decade day. Just so you know, we're going back to the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, and the 60s, believe it or not. And just so you know, I'm wearing something from the 80s, which is disco. Same. Like you already no. know. So, yeah. Also, um, I think, like, I feel, I have a feeling that for tomorrow, people are, or Thursday, throwback day, people are not really going to go out and I feel like that's what spirit week is all about having spirit you know so just go all out I mean you don't have to wear uniform so that's what I'm gonna do and that's always great not to wear uniform because we all look the same <laughs> but yeah just express yourself just be you have fun you know it's fair week and then homecoming which are you going no I'm not going well I'm going and I'm excited about that first kind of like official high school dance because I'm a freshman so it's yeah. also I want to <laughs> give a big thanks to everyone that did well in quarter one all the high honors and general honors students and I want to have everyone have a great start to quarter two. Oh, and if you're a part of sports I know that you have to have a 1.9 GPA or higher so just remember in order to be in fun activities you know you also have to have your grades up so Thank you for watching Hornet News. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm Ayana. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <His face is laughs>